Hey, welcome back here to a great day at 9 a 9 19 is the time. Part of going back to school is the, uh, the teachers and schools getting ready for those students, right? So to find out how it's going across our state, we're talking to local superintendents. And today we have Dr. Sal Menzo, the superintendent of the Goodwin Magnet School System, joining us this morning. Sal, thanks for joining us, coming uh, in. My pleasure. Getting ready for the start to the we new could year. We can talk to you all day. I know. Can you, <laughs> can you tell the audience what makes your school district so unique and special in the entire country? Um, we are the only university public school district in the country. So what that means is that we're just like Rocky Hill, Wallingford, Wethersfield. We are a public school system, but we are in the uh, environment of a university. So we have uh, our local education uh, agency agreement with the feds, um, so the federal government and the state. We have our teacher retirement approved. So all of our teachers, public school teachers, myself, certified staff, are all in a traditional public school, but at a university setting. Um, so we are very traditional, we're very untraditional or non-traditional in that manner. Um, we also have the ability because of that to be a little bit more agile in meeting the needs of our scholars. So is this like an application process? Do kids have yes. to get, okay. Yeah, so we're part of the Chef versus O'Neill decision. So mm -hmm. we are part of the regional school choice program. So if students have to apply, uh, we are preschool through grade 12. Um, we have about 1,200 students this year, and we are continuing to grow. So we're very fortunate to be in a region at, um, you know, in our area where we're able to actually have a waiting list um, where that students was, oh, want to come. I was just going to ask, and I'm sure, Nicole, you know, having George go into preschool, it's probably very difficult to get in, right? Yes, it's very challenging, and our elementary school is actually over-enrolled at this point. We're going to wow. take everybody. Um, our principal does not want us to take any more, uh, <laughs> but we are definitely very excited about that. Our middle school is growing. Uh, we just finished off eighth grade last year in our middle school. So our first group of students that were eighth graders will matriculate to the high school for the first time and they've been with us since preschool. That's awesome. So um, our high school is 9 through 12, Connecticut River Academy. Uh, we are in the process of um, building a, another high school, the first magnet technical high school, wow. uh, which will be like no other technical high school in the country. It's going to have a business hub in the center of it where local businesses uh, large manufacturers, um, IT companies will be able to have opportunities to work um, with our students on a regular basis. It's incredible. So what's so unique about, we were chatting uh, before we came back, mm -hmm. all the different things that you're offering kids, it's not, you know, obviously like you said at the university level, but exposing them at such a young age to the, the careers that we need right here Correct. in our state right now. So how does that work and if you could name some, uh, sure. some of the programs that you do? Have. Our key pathways that we expose students to as early as elementary school are medical careers, uh, we have information technology, we have advanced manufacturing, and uh, we have business administration. So the focus is to get the students looking in those areas. We identify those areas working with uh, the Department of Labor as well as Paul um, Lavoie from manufacturing to identify key areas that the state needs to grow in. Um, the students are able to take courses throughout their, their years with us. Um, they articulate courses with the university so they're getting credits most of our students graduate with 24 credits which is about $24,000 wow. that they do not have to pay they transfer to state university system as well as private university systems um, but we are really proud we're opening our CNA classroom this year so our students will be working at Riverside nursing home in East Hartford um, and they'll be getting their CNA certificate and then we're growing because we received the Health Horizons grant from mm. the federal government to actually expand and beyond CNA to look at LPN, to look at other medical areas to increase that with students. That's amazing. It's incredible. I mean, the, there's so many opportunities, as you call them, your scholars, your yes. students, um, for them to really expand their horizons and think about what they might be interested in doing long term. Absolutely. In our, our advanced manufacturing program, um, our students also get paid internships. So this wow. year, they worked uh, between six to eight hours a week, uh, received the $15 an hour. Uh, th they all were offered positions in their internships. Uh, some of them chose to go on to four-year four university, either at Goodwin, University of Bridgeport, mm -hmm. or other universities. Um, but they were very successful, and that will expand every pathway students will have an opportunity to have a paid internship um, as we move forward. That's and awesome. There's nothing like setting our kids up for success, right? So many Absolutely. opportunities. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. You, Dr. Oh, Salmenzo, superintendent. I did, I did bring you a couple of things, if oh, I may. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes. Just because I, I will get... 
So we have Are these notebooks? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> we so were just talking about back to school items the I other know. day. So you have oh, a pen, your you. notebook. Oh, and thank you. Oh, really nice oh. water bottles. Wow, those are really so nice. You can Thanks, display Dr. Menzo. these on your desk thank or wherever. You. We are going to stay hydrated yep. and cheers. Ready for back to school. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much, Sal Dr. Sal Menzo, the superintendent of the Goodwin Magnet School System. We hope you have a great year. Thank